Hello everyone, hope you are loading well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weekly contest 371. It's an easy one. And in fact, the fourth problem of the test is a very hard one in which, you know, the constraints have changed. Right here, the constraints are low, but exactly the same problem statement. Let's see what the problem statement is asking us to do. So it says that you are given a zero index integer array nums. A pair of integers x comma y is called strong pair. If, if it satisfies the following condition, what is those? what are those conditions? Or rather, what is that condition? There's only one condition here. Mod of x minus y is less than equals to minimum of x comma y. Okay, you need to select two integers from nums such that they form a strong pair and their bitwise or is the maximum among all the strong pairs in the array. Right? Return the maximum or value out of all possible strong pairs in the array nums. Note that you can pick the same integer twice. Simple, right? And again, an implementation based problem. It is saying you need to check for this condition. If two integers satisfy this condition, simply find the ZOR. You have to pick all those pairs which satisfy this condition and simply return the maximum ZOR you can get. All right. So you can just see this example. So it says there are 11 strong pairs in the array. These are the pairs. Okay. These are the pairs. The maximum possible ZOR between those pairs are threes or four that comes out to be seven let me just show you the solution because there is nothing much to explain here okay these are the number of elements i have answer initialized by zero running a loop a nested loop why it works because the constraints are low nested loop so this is x this is y consider two elements right math dot absolute value of x minus y if it is less than equals to minimum of x comma y simply update your answer answer equals to math dot max of answer and x or y finally return the answer now for the same contest, the fourth question is a tough one, which we'll discuss in another video, obviously, because that is not the agenda of this video. But yeah, this is how you approach the problem, right? So for beginners, this is a good one. Otherwise, it's sorry, it's mostly for warm up, right? Uh, so yeah, have fun. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.